where you're standing right now is called the East Bank. It's the east side. And there's a, on the other side is the West Bank. And both, although you look at the Kilo Four, is is a quite it's quite a small four, but <clears throat> because it's, it's it's location and its history, so it's very very busy. And uh, today, you are unfortunately come one day late. If you came in today, you see three ports, three, three okay. ships to to operate as a multiple operation here within this tiny area. So. We we'll like to show you that how this operation works and they can walk you through it. We have a copy of the comments here. How about that? Oh, wait. And I need my copy. Copy. But they're going to most mostly going to Okinawa. Japan. Japan. Okinawa Island. So, so you, you order for <coughs> you order for the customers and for the for the operation to run smooth, we have to go abroad. We have to leave Taiwan. Then come back. We have to then decide to then I want to one of our biggest customers is Star Cruise. Star Cruise is a Malaysian, I put the going to the Hong Kong Malaysian based cruise company. Which currently holds about 13% of the world of world cruise business. However, their operation is mainly on the gambling, on the gambling game. So that's why their operations are quite different. In order for the Taiwan to get gambling to be legal, so that's why you have to have a rock to operate. Unlike Cruise, unlike Princess and the Royal Caribbean, which is more new as more operating as a ocean resort, so it's a big So that's why they go to so the Cargo here, of course. <coughs> uh, Princess, I think uh, it was yesterday that the uh, Logistic uh, Princess is left. They went to, they went to Japan. She went, she went to Japan and for the Sakura, Sakura, Sakura View. Sakura View. It's quite, it's quite popular. The whole, whole ship is full. Tomorrow, uh, we will receive Majestic Princess, uh, which is okay. the newest and the largest uh, princess cruise, cruise ship yeah. in Asia. We will receive uh, it tomorrow. So we prepare the, the, this area for the luggage handling. And, and how many, uh, roughly, on a yearly uh, cost? Uh, in terms of cruise ship, uh, we received 270 posts last year. Uh, most of them, uh, they are, are the turnaround posts to, to Japan. Yeah. Although <coughs> Taiwan is a small island with only uh, 23 million. Only. Only. <laughs> in Asia, it's only. But no, we, are, we, are the, we, we, we are the second source market. Asia cruise, Asia cruise market. We are a safe place of market. So Taiwanese people love to cruise the ship. Yeah. So and how many passengers? About a, a, a 830,000 passengers. Cruise passengers. That's a Impressive enough. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how about uh, in Over one point. Over one point. Close to 1.5 million or 1.8. Oh. It's changed over the last couple of years because of the industry change. But we ship passengers among the number one. We have one of the deepest harbors in the Caribbean. So we anchor up the largest cruise ships right in our harbor. Yes. At the dock. At the dock. Yeah. So, uh, it's very interesting and I appreciate you bringing us here because this is about in the industry as well. Yes. And uh, we're interconnected and uh, we uh, went to your program here at uh, Fort Lauderdale on the sea trade. Yes.
yes, yes, yes. yes. This is the uh, <coughs> other port. They have uh, how many total uh, sports in Taiwan? Um, majorly four. Four. But yeah. most of the cruise ship locations come here. In, come here. Yeah. So are there hotels around that also assist with your passengers making coming from distances to catch the cruise? Yes. Uh, most most of the foreign passengers they live in Taipei. Uh, because it takes only 30 or 40 minutes from Taipei to Kilo City. So, Kilo City is just a smaller city. We don't have uh, too many hotels in Kilo City. So let's go upstairs and to see 